Hi, Uber Bandit. Hello. So, I don't know. I don't know how well or if any editing at all is going to happen to this. Mm. And I don't know if you uh, gave a good listen to the last one, but there was a lot of editing in that. There was like 33 minutes removed from that conversation. I, I noticed it was significantly shorter than the actual conversation. It was significantly shorter, but I like shorter. I feel shorter is... Uh, I think I think the people like shorter. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. I think the people also, at a bare minimum, didn't hate it. And so... Did, yeah, did you get response on it? Or? I got, like, two comments that were good comments, and it had a couple thumb-ups. No one said anything bad. No one said not to do it. All right. And I figure as long as uh, there's a couple hundred people watching, we should keep doing it. Yeah. So, that's a thing. All right. How have you been the last couple days, even though you should just pretend we didn't spend two hours together talking Monday? Um, not fantastic, <laughs> but that's neither here or there right now. I'm doing all right. You know, I think there's a case of not fantastic going around. I mean, it kind of comes with the first snow. Does it? Oh god, it happened. Because I feel like my not fantastic goes a little bit back farther. Unless you want to get real deep and go back to like last winter. Uh, Maybe I've been unfantastic for that long and just didn't realize it. My situ situational awareness is just sucking. And I thought I was in a good place, but really the walls were burning down around me. I, I have no concept of like past time, so that... <laughs> last winter could very well be yesterday this weekend was nice if it wouldn't have rained i would have been so happy this weekend well, yeah here what happened was rain turned to snow and then it just snow showers yeah that's the but worst i like as long as it's not raining or snowing like i usually do not wear a coat in the winter you usually do not wear coats in the winter. Right, unless you go, unless it's below zero or there's precipitation. Like anything? Like do you like have like a hoodie coat or something? No. Nothing. You're no, just a like, t-shirt. Yeah. Oh man, you're gonna die. No, it's complete. Look, it's only dangerous <laughs> when you're wet, or when it's below zero. I don't Other know. That, you're fine. I don't know. I feel like your your responsibility with the weather is like on par with my nutritional responsibility there, there are people that do worse you know how there's like the runners that um Homeless do the whole people. barefoot thing that's stupid but yes yeah well they're they're basically they won't go out exactly barefoot because they're pussies and can't walk on the snow and take the pain um but there's basically what is a flat foot bit and i've seen a video of a bloke that was shoveling like a f two feet of snow in no shoes He's going to lose those toes. He didn't. Um, basically, your body is a little smarter than you think, and it figures out, hey, I can totally get blood there, and then it just starts doing it. Not my body. Yeah. So my, like, My blood's lazy as shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I go outside and shovel, I come back in, my hands are fucking burning because I wasn't wearing gloves, and my body's like, hey, those need to be warm. Oh. You're a crazy person. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. I hate being cold. <laughs> I no. hate it. Cold, look, uh, you want to get philosophical. Let's get let's get, let's get philosophical. Let's get. It only bothers you when you let it. Well, like, that's stupid. It's it's literally <laughs> just a physical stimulus. No, like our furnace has been sporadically kind of coming in and out. That's um, no good. Well, I haven't noticed. Hmm. It doesn't bother me. Maybe you're a superhero. I. It's possible. I don't know. You should science that. You might be able to do something with cold. Like, okay. Okay, would would you go out and walk barefoot, like, on the snow, like, you know, shoveled? No. Like, shovel drive or something? No, I live in the city. I'll get, like, worms in my feet or glass <laughs> or AIDS or something. I don't know. Like, that's how that's... people get AIDS. Like, I had to move my car earlier, and I was too lazy to put on shoes, so I just walked outside on the ice. No. I have these gray shoes that I call, doesn't matter what I call them. I have these gray shoes. I'm looking for them right now. They're over there. I can't really show them to you. Mm. But uh, I have them. And uh, you know what? I'm going to find a picture. That's okay. that's how important it is that you know what shoes I'm, I'm looking at. 
Dun, dun. God, for the magic of editing. <laughs> It'll be instantaneous. Editing. <laughs> it's the worst. Alright, so fun fact. I actually uh, can't find them on, hmm. on the Google. Mm -hmm. But uh, let me see if there's... See, there's no like fancy name. Like I can't be like, oh, these are the blah, 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 blahs. Or actually, maybe, maybe like... I could... But my my foot has worn out the words on the inside. <laughs> like, are they like like uh, treaded like uh, slippers or something? Or hold on, I got this. I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm so I'm so ingeniously clever. Watch this. We're gonna go to my my video shit on my uh, Skype options. Mm hmm. Oh no, I can't plug in my webcam because I have all my USB ports. <laughs> God damn it. God oh, damn it. I've got that problem too. Damn it. All right, hold on. This is this is unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Mission. Okay. Because I'm such a super fucking nerd, I actually have another pair of these shoes that I haven't even start wearing yet. <laughs> all right. I don't I don't even at this point. I'm just letting it happen. Just, just let it happen. I'm, I'm it's un, it. it's you can't stop it now. Oh, good! Uh -huh. I found a picture of my shoe. Copy, close, bump, 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 boom. So, all of this, so that I could tell you, I just slip those on and go outside. Okay, so they're kind of like moccasins. They're, they're kind of like that, I guess. I wear them when it's nice out, or if I'm on vacation. Those are my vacation -y shoes. Yeah. Mhm. Mm See, I I show you my outdoor shoes, but it's it's on my foot right now because it's my foot. <laughs> so basically, Google foot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you'll, you'll get approximately the right. Time. I'm gonna Google that. Hold on. Oh God. Well, that's interesting. That's what I figured would happen. Here you go. This is the most interesting one. You're gonna have to hold on to these images because you're gonna have to. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna have to put that on the stream. Or, uh, or, I could make it the 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 image for the stream. Yeah, that's that's what I meant. Yeah, during the video. Or should it be this one? Oh God, no, no, that's not nearly as bad. That one, like, okay. You like the so first one better. Yeah, the second one, like, makes sense. Look, I I know how that happens. <laughs> the other ones have the mouth, and it goes in. It has and, actual concept, eye sockets. Like, yeah, yeah, there's an inside. The concept of a foot that would work in such a way that that would be a functional mouth <laughs> is incredibly disturbing. <laughs> kind of terrifying. I feel like, <laughs> like, like that foot is just all by itself and it would eat the shit out of me. Oh, it might. What if they got into a fight? They'd eat each other. I, I'm i trying to form a coherent thought, but just... It's hard. I have to I, stop staring at this picture. I know. I, okay, closing. Close, yep, okay. me too. It's done. It's gone. Oh, God. It is done. Oh, oh, God damn it. If I close my eyes, I can still see it. Oh, try not to do that. Let's... We'll, we'll change the subject. Um, Velius. People like Velius. Yeah. Guess what? Hmm. You know this, because you were there Monday night. But we want people to look back and be like... Man, I played Velius on Project 1999, and it and was it was fucking. It Velius. was awesome. Yeah, it was it was the best thing in my life since 2001. Yeah, and that's that's what we want. That's what I want. I'm pretty sure that's what Nilbog wants. It's like an ant farm. He wants his NPCs to work properly. Mm -hmm. Like it's very important to him. Um, but unfortunately, you don't get to see the NPCs work properly without players. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like it's. It's a net farm. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, I know he's flattered as shit that so many people play on the server. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if players were like, if you don't make this change, we're quitting, he wouldn't give any shits. Well, right? yeah. Like, he does what he's going to do. And that's pretty much it. I mean, well, and that comes from the fact that he is actually entitled to the server. He, he, he is the one person, yeah. yeah. I guess him and Rogan. Yeah. They're the two people. No, I would go as far as to say, like, some, you know, some of the longer devs, the people, the people that actually put work into the server. Well, the devs, man, the devs are essentially the lifeblood of P99. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can replace me, you can replace Darabale, 
you probably can't replace you know me <laughs> but everyone else on the csr side is replaceable no, and confirm saint you know me is a saint bards will sing songs about her long after she's gone <laughs> i don't know how i did anything before she got here to be perfectly honest <laughs> Like, I can't even believe that at one point I was doing most of this shit by myself. Um, but yeah, everyone else is replaceable, and the devs, not so much. You lose you lose a Nilbog or a Rogan or Canris or Haynar or any of the other devs. Um, that's hard to replace. Yeah. So good devs, man. They're, they're amazingly awesome and hard to replace. And we love them. We love them very, very much for it. Yeah. Yeah, I I can't even add anything though. That's that's absolutely complete. Yeah, that is complete because that's what we do. We complete things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I opted against Asian girl gifts. Uh, you know what? I I heard or we had talked about that, and I'm I'm kind of all right on a YouTube like when nothing else is happening. It might be a little much. It might be a little much. I like the lava lamp though. It's slow. Mm -hmm. It's relaxing. Sure. It's got this green radiating glow of calming. <laughs> stuff i kind of feel if i roll around in it i'll be a ninja turtle <laughs> so i mean legit the the formula for what is inside a lava lamp is like a big secret no it's not it's turtle ooze <laughs> it's it's this didn't you see the the ninja turtles 2 secret of the ooze no it explains all of that oh i'm pretty sure uh vanilla ice busted a flow in that movie at some point <laughs> That was that is grade A material, my friend. Uh, that's I, I was not on the TMNT side as much as growing up I was on the Power Ranger side of things. Oh. I'm sorry, but I enjoy when you punch someone and sparks come out. <laughs> well, I mean, if you make certain life choices, I'm sure you could see sparks when the turtles punch things. I I don't. It would involve you knowing if crack bubbles or not, I suppose. Yeah, fucking crack bubbles. Actually, I received a Skype message today from somebody okay. who confirmed that crack does not bubble. Excellent. Yes. And while I'm happy for the answer, I'm concerned for how they know. I mean... <laughs> Google? Maybe. Maybe. Do you think anyone's ever Googled that? Like, does crack bubble? Um... I would love to see some people's Google search histories. I think... I don't My... know if I know that there's a way to like aggregate Google searches like what is popularly searched and stuff. I don't know if you can look for like a specific thing like that. <laughs> uh, I had a Ninja Turtle shirt. It was like bright green, and just said Teenage Mutant like the, the logo, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja mm. Turtles. And it was it was my favorite shirt. My favorite shirt. I I I, I don't have it. I gave it away. Oh. I was like, well, can't wear my favorite shirt anymore. Yeah. And so, that shirt is no longer a part of my life. Even though I loved it. Sincerely loved it. I mean... I'm trying to think of a turtle joke and something about flipping things on backs and it's just not happening. Turtle Too jokes fucking tired. are hard. Turtle jokes are very hard. Um, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? That's like soon. Um, Although, unless this gets posted on Thursday, in yeah. which case... Happy Thanksgiving. What are you doing today? Well, time machines. Um, <laughs> eating food. Eating food. Are you yeah. are you traveling or is it at your uh, house? Or? No, no, no. Yeah, all my family pretty much lives here. So nice. um, we go over to my grandparents and eat the shit out of some food. And then I sleep. <laughs> and then merriment is had. A plus for merriment. Yeah. I have to drive an hour north to uh, Lake Villa. I think Lake Villa, Illinois. And I don't even know where visit. that is. It's north. It's right by yeah. the border of Wisconsin. It's um, you know where Great America is? Uh, no. Okay, well. I know that it exists, <laughs> but I've never driven there, so. It's like 15 minutes northwest of uh, Great America. Okay. So it's north. It's very north. Yeah. That's all, that's all that matters. And I have to go there, and I have to deal with family. And I don't know how much family, because my mom is the oldest of six, and all of them have fucking kids. 
Like, we could probably literally uh-huh. field two legit baseball teams with me and all my cousins. <laughs> God. And so you never know who's going to show up. Yeah. And so that's scary. Not all family members get along with each other when there's that many family members. <laughs> well, yeah. I... For extra giggles, my one aunt stole $100,000 from my grandmother and then left the country for a few years. My uncle I... is an alcoholic who's literally dying from alcoholism because he's been drinking every day since he was nine years old. And my other aunt is a dirty heroin junkie who just shows up to spice up the holidays once in a while. <laughs> And so, like, uh-huh. legitimately, it's like you walk in on Thanksgiving and you just bust open this pinata of possibilities mm. and they fly all over the room and you never know what's going to come out and land where. And it's great because you can't kill each other because you're family. <laughs> so far, so far it's been a thing. Mm. We haven't, uh, I'm trying to think if any of one has gotten into a fight before. I know it's come close, but luckily there's enough like level-headed people there to be like, nope, nope, you both gotta go. <laughs> my, my cousin almost killed me at a family junction once. Why? Um, well, it, it's indirect killing. So we were, we <laughs> battled children. Involuntary bandit homicide. Probably, like <laughs> seven, eight, you know, somewhere in there, kids. Right, right. Um, and my family is Swedish. So, a thing, obviously, is Swedish meatballs, and... Sounds like a damn good thing. Ah, oh, you have no idea. You have, like, you... Uh, Italy, stand fucking back, because you're doing it wrong. Uh, one of these days, one of these days, I'm gonna try to get the the Monday night crew to, to come to Chicago, mm. and we're gonna live stream all together. Oh, uh, God. And we're gonna try your Swedish meatballs. All right, I, I'll have to dig. Like the thing is, Swedish meatballs—they—they they are a meal in and of itself. They, they aren't. It's not shit you put on spaghetti. No. No. You no. Put, no. You put stuff on the meatballs. They are the food. Oh, I'm aware of what they are. I've just mm-hmm. never had good ones. Uh, yeah. That's that's the problem that mm-hmm. I have. Yeah. I don't know anyone that knows how to cook that legit. It's because all the recipes are fucking secret family recipes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing if, if any Scandinavian asks you if you want Lutfisk walk run run away very quickly what is what is Lutfisk Lutfisk is a fish that has basically um, okay. cooked bathed pickled in lye you lost me at fish did you just say lye isn't that what yes. they dissolve bodies in yes oh it's, no it essentially tastes like salty soapy fish why would anybody eat that? It's it's kind of like, um, it, it's a bigger thing in Finland, and it's kind of like their version of fruitcake. Oh, there's a joke there with Finland eating fish, but I'm going to let it go. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, ruin everything. Did I, yeah, so, did I derail so it's, you? It's, like, it's, it's one of those intentionally bad foods. I see. And, you know, you ceremoniously eat it because you... I don't know. Books are not given. It's Finland. Oh, poor Finland. Ah, Finland's the best, man. Finland gives zero, zero fucks. About anything? I mean, uh, Russia tried to invade Finland. They did not have a good time because the Finns are fucking crazy. (laughs) Sorry, Finland. Yep, I mean, there was a small Finnish island. Russia tried to invade it. And all that was really there were a bunch of Finns that, you know, were militiamen because they were like fishers and shit. They lived on an island. Oh, God damn it! Are they legitimately called Finns? Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Story. <laughs> all right. Story. So the Russians attack and the Finns <laughs> fucking go ham. And the Russians throw up a white flag of surrender. Problem. No one taught the militia what that means. That's a problem. So, uh, yeah, they kind of completely routed the Russians there until the... I think think they're attacking us with these white flags! (laughs) There's a UK officer, you know, stationed there to kind of oversee it. And he was like, oh god, wait, no, stop! Oh. And had a hard as hell time convincing them to, you know, stop killing the Russians that were invading them. Oh, god damn it. (laughs) Good job, Finns! Just don't fuck with Finland. We learned things today. We learned valuable things. 
I've told that story once on the stream before. That's okay. I feel That's like fine. you forgot it anyways. Uh, yeah, I forgot <laughs> it, which means other people could have forgotten it. Do you think we grossly disappoint people like that? No, no, because here's the thing. I if I'm there, I make sure that they fucking get acknowledged. That's good. They are um, the most. They are the lifeblood. I love our chat room, but I feel so like it's so hard to run the stream it and is. be in the call and watch the chat room, and like there's just it doesn't seem like it, but there's a lot of things going on, mm -hmm. and I gotta make sure the video isn't doing stupid shit like playing Tupac songs and and windows backgrounds well and and it's better honestly to have someone else handle it because of the nature of the delay yeah yeah you know but that's the biggest obstacle i have on my stream is i just i'm so pissed that's the biggest like put off for me is i'm so pissed about the delay yeah you are one of the people i know for a fact you streamed back before that was a thing the delay uh yeah i still had the delay though because i was doing um, an incredibly ghetto setup on Windows XP. Ah, uh, my entire grammar school mm -hmm. only had Apple computers. God. Like, our, we, our entire, like, computer lab was Apple computers, and the couple classrooms that had a computer had Apple computers. I mean, Macs and shit are really cool if you, like, closed source exclusive, uh, programs. Macs are never cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, nerds. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. Oh, uh, that's the one thing. Like when people, if people call me with a computer request and they have a Mac, I just mm -hmm. I tell them to buy a new computer. Anytime I hear the words "gaming laptop," I want to puke. <laughs> and like I was on a laptop for the longest time until I built my computer, and I'm never going back. Um, when I got my PC. Uh, and like had actual amounts of FPS, I felt like I was a god. Because suddenly I was playing 20 times better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Frame I was break. like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. I can react to things. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's, mm -hmm. it's really nice. <laughs> I've, been, I've been playing Terraria again lately. Oh god. 1.3 yep. is coming. I know, I was reading... I just I haven't played in a real long time, probably since mm -hmm. summer, early summer, and uh, I, I I started playing again. Have mm -hmm. a lot of fun finding all kinds of little things. Mm -hmm. It's one of those games where I feel like I have nothing to do, and then like I just start doing something, and the next thing I have all these things to do, and it's nine thirty in the morning, <laughs> and I need to drag my ass to bed. Yeah. And so, but it's awesome. I have this little top hat. I have this little wizard outfit. I have a little penguin that follows me around. I have a good time just nerding it up. Mm. Well, like, what what basically we do is wait kind of for a bunch of updates to come out and then start from the beginning again. Like, completely over? Yeah, completely. Oh, my lord. With, like, wood shit? Yeah, it doesn't last very long. Oh, man. It does. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's basically strats. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's a fun little game. I mentioned this Monday night a little bit when mm -hmm. I was saying like I had a bunch of change and I had to buy food with my change but still have cigarette money. Yeah. I have not made any of the food I bought. <laughs> really? Okay, so that's a lie. I put some cheese in a tortilla and wrapped it up and ate it. Yeah. But uh, I haven't made the hash browns yet. And I'm thinking I can make like it's got to be close to a pound of hash browns. So I should be able to make like 10 good like hash brown and cheese tacos. Yeah, and I'm debating. I have some ground beef in the refrigerator that's defrosted now. Mm -hmm. I might cook that and throw because beef and potatoes goes together always, and then you throw cheddar cheese on top of that. Mm -hmm. How can that go wrong? Can't go wrong. That's like well, America wrapped up in a tortilla. There's cheese. Cheese is American. I, I guess it's also it's taco in, and, and. Look, I can't eat cheese. No one else should be allowed to enjoy it. Aww. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> shitty. <laughs> uh, that's a shitty attitude. I mean, it's it's how that works. I guess, I guess. It's fine. There are other foods. Fucking, I'm telling you right now, the lactose-free ice cream, uh -huh. absolutely strictly better than regular ice cream. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm Strictly better. Remind me to tell you 
an ice cream story that I can't tell you right now. I mean, you can tell me right now, you just have to edit it later. That's true. That's true. Or we can just wrap this up, and then I can just tell you. That, that, that might be what's happening. Because I think we should. I'll pop my door in any moment. I think we should wrap this up. Um, All right. Say bye to the people. People that, if, if you made it this far, I... I feel like you should get a medal or something. <laughs> um, thanks for chilling through the entire video. I I want to know what people think about it just because, you know, I have this incessant, in, incessant need to be validated. Um, <laughs> so, you know, that's talk, good. That's talk good. about it. Um, yeah, and if you want more Uber Bandit, but without this annoying person right now, you can get Uber Bandit at twitch.tv slash uberbandit22 yeah, go there follow fucking, them the tournaments are over I will no longer be disinclined to start streaming so <laughs> it's like I can't stream while watching a stream A plus does it work A plus um yeah and thanks everyone for watching have a wonderful night everybody and thank you happy Thanksgiving if it's Thanksgiving it might be Thanksgiving it might be Friday it might be Thursday. Um, we don't know yet. It's definitely not Tuesday night. <laughs> so, uh, bye pals. <laughs>